Hey guys! So I have been working on the art wall that I showed you guys in the last video I started on. And I think it's going pretty well. I'm happy anyway so far. We'll see how, how it ends up later. Uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, in previous video, I talked about how on that last trip that I took, I didn't have any cell service a lot of times. And I was looking at either updating my cell service to like Verizon or something like that, or finding another solution. I did find another solution, I think. It's an emergency solution, really. I got the Garmin inReach. And before I talk about it, I want to say I'm not affiliated with this company or this product in any way. And this isn't a review because I just got it and I'm still learning about it and going to be using it more before I'm ready to do any kind of real review. It's the InReach Explorer. Actually, the InReach Explorer Plus. What this does is it works with satellite instead of cell. And so when I don't have cell service, I can still text Kevin and he can even text me. Now it does require a subscription plan and they have different levels, different plans that you can do. You can do uh, where you pay monthly, like if you only are going to be using it two or three months out of the year, you would benefit from paying the, what's, I think it's called their freedom plan, where you can have it shut off when you're not going to be using it that month, and you don't have to pay for that month, and then you can just reactivate it when you are using it again. But if you're using it all the time, because that's more expensive per month, when you're using it all the time, you actually would probably pay less if you just go with their annual plan which is what I did. And I got the middle tiered plan. The middle tier plan allows me to text or receive texts up to 40 times before I start having to pay a little bit more uh, for each text. Uh, what's really great though, is that you can set up uh, some preset texts and you, you're allowed three preset texts that you can send anytime. Uh, to you you set them up at what they're going to say and who the recipient is and so like if i'm texting kevin i can set up a text that says you know i'm i'm here everything is okay or i can set up one that says running late but all's okay <laughs> or i can set up a text that says I'm really lost, I have no idea where I'm at, and, well, don't worry about me. <laughs> well, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but you can set up a text, send them out, and it gives the person receiving it a little peace of mind when they have no other way to find out if you're okay and they haven't heard from you. So that's going to give Kevin some peace of mind when I'm out there, because on the last trip that I took, when I didn't have cell service a lot of times he was worried he didn't know you know did she get to where she was going camping or not you know and so with the preset text he gets an assurance he's not worried and I don't have to worry about you know finding a way to get a hold of him when I don't have cell service um, the really great thing about this is that it also has the SOS button here on the side that you can you can push SOS if you're hurt like let's say I'm out there I get injured or I have vehicle problems or anything that I well if I'm injured I would I would use the SOS if I'm you know just having vehicle problems or something I would probably use the text I'd probably text Kevin have Kevin get me some help that sort of thing or some, somehow something like that to where I could get the help I needed. I can carry this with me when I go hiking. Just keep it clipped to my backpack or whatever. And if I, you know, fall off the side of a cliff and survive, I can 
use the SOS button and get helicoptered out of there or something. <laughs> they do offer an insurance, which, because helicopter, getting helicoptered out of somewhere would cost you a lot of money. So you, the insurance might help pay for that. But uh, you have to pay extra for the insurance. <laughs> All right. Anyway, it has some navigation features also. Um, they're, I didn't really get it for the navigation features. They don't seem like they're really great, but it's another, it's nice to have as kind of a backup if you need it. Uh, you can sync this with your cell phone or your tablet and plan your route on there. And then you can set up waypoints also. Um, I especially like that it has tracking features. So Kevin can track where I'm at. Whenever I send one of those presets, I can actually have it also send a location. He can at any time request a location as long as I have it on. And I have the location, I think depending on what plan, what subscription plan you have, you can have it, you can set up the intervals in which it tracks you. I think that uh, for the plan I have, I think it's gonna be like every 10 minutes or something like that. So when you use this SOS button, what's nice is that you're actually communicating with another human being and they can find out what your emergency is and then coordinate a response accordingly. Also, you can get weather updates on this. But with the weather updates, I think you have to pay a little bit with each update. But if you're in a situation where the weather's looking kind of extreme, you know, at least you do have that option. You can find out what's going on. Um, anyway, so like I said, I haven't had a chance to really use this a lot. And so I'm going to be doing a review after I've had it a while and done and had a chance to really use it and find out if it works as advertised and if I like it but I think this will be a good solution because the cell phone plan that we had we have four lines on that and for us to change networks it would have been pretty expensive um, this actually worked out cheaper for us and well, not counting the cost of the device. The device isn't cheap, but it's it's got features that cells don't have. And like I said, now I have the cell phone when I need it, and I have cell service. And when I don't have cell service, I have an emergency option, and that's really important. So now I'm going to get back to work on that art wall. <laughs> This is one of the things I love about this moonshade awning. When it's really windy or when the sun is glaring really bad, I can have it set up just like this and have it go all the way to the ground. And then it creates like a, almost like a little porch area here. At a campsite, I can put my rug out and I still get a breeze through here, which is nice. Also, it can be great if you're in an area where everybody's kind of jammed in and side to side, get a little privacy and still have your door open. <laughs> That's nice. My best work comes from working slow. Working slow allows me to get into a somewhat meditative state and everybody's different. There are artists who can only reach that that flow by 
putting everything out there very quickly and then they kind of slow down. I'm the opposite in that I start really slow and then loosen up as I go and get into the flow. But I'm, I'm happy to say I've seen a movement growing for slow art. I mean, you hear of slow art and you think of the viewer, the viewer, the way they respond to the work, you know, they're being encouraged to stop and spend time with a painting or any kind of artwork, spend time with it and really sort of try to see and understand how it got to where it was at and its process of creation. But and, and connect with the artist in that way, the artist of the work. But I like that artists are recognizing their need to start slowing down and really connecting with their subject, whether it's abstract or representational or whatever, uh, it becomes more of a, a sensual experience. I like to use a lot of organic shapes in my work because I'm inspired a lot by nature. And for me, the organic represents the natural. And then what I really like is to combine these geometric shapes with that organic because the, for me, the geometric kind of re represents the man-made and I think that by combining the two the organic and geometric the man-made and the natural we get closer to something that's more like our human reality because we're always confronted with both You know, I was just thinking on the idea of slow painting, slow drawing, as in this case. It's kind of like slow travel. I mean, it really is about the journey, taking your time and really getting to experience it at a more intimate level. Yeah. I'm looking forward to when I can get on the road and spend an extended period of time in an area and I have a few trips planned. One area is going to be up in the mountains, another area is going to be in a more desert environment and I'll be able to stay in those areas for an extended period of time and I'm looking forward to that. It's, I think a lot of creative inspiration will come from it. I think my stakes came out of this thing. Seems to be doing okay, it's just blowing around everywhere. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna call it an end to this video and keep working on this a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, soon I have a short camping trip coming up and you guys will get to see that. So, hope you'll join me. Subscribe, please, if you haven't already. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.